So this is the map, so maybe you're curious where we are. But uh, we have uh, gone from uh, Georgetown uh, and then we are going up to Chesapeake Bay. And uh, after that we're going to continue up Chesapeake Bay and then the canal uh, towards New Jersey uh, Bay and go out uh, to that one. And then we're going to continue north. Uh, we're going to avoid uh, the states New Jersey, New York and Connecticut because of the uh, pandemic. Uh, hopefully we can go into New York and take a photo of uh, the Statue of Liberty. Uh, and after that we continue up further north up to uh, Rhode Island and Maine. So that's the uh, nearby future. And if you want to know where we are exactly, you can go into marine traffic and uh, search on Svea or type in our uh, MMS e num I number on uh, the search field. It's uh, 26 56 36 Now we're entering uh, Chesapeake Bay. So behind me is uh, Maryland. And uh, on this side we have Virginia. So we just passed uh, Virginia Beach, which is a famous tourist place. Uh, and they have a very long bridge here. Or actually, it's a bridge and a tunnel for the cars, of course, and uh, where we're going to pass over. And then uh, there's a uh, bridge again and another tunnel for us. So there's two in and out passages. Uh, so Chesapeake Bay is one of the big sailing hubs in the world. Uh, for sure the biggest uh, in this part of the of the region so this will be exciting we're going into North Folk now we've been sailing uh, three days from uh, Georgetown and uh, it's been uh, quite soft sailing uh, unusually a lot of motoring I think predict wind and uh, windy has taken vacation because uh, the weather forecast uh, or especially the wind forecast has not been uh, the same as we have had but it's been good days and uh, it's a good day feeling we've been uh, out for three days and uh, we can continue without any problems uh, so we can go long distances and we quite like it When we're coming to a new place, we Google it to see what to do and what it's known for. When we get to shore, we walk or bike more or less without a plan to get a feeling for the place. Often we miss the top attractions, especially if they are museums or statues. Here we found a nice beach walk and an old fort.
sports fishing is very popular here. Usually they do it from open boats with big engines. These guys have canoes with fish finders and they're using their legs for propulsion. It's all about the gadgets. The current in the creeks are strong due to the tide. With some luck and good planning, we can gain extra miles for free. So now we have visited uh, Brian, an, uh, an OCC member. So you can see his uh, blue boat in the back, uh, Tartan 47. Oh, oh. Southern Yankee. Southern Yankee. Yeah. And uh, we were invited yesterday to dinner at his house. Yeah, and Vicky, nice. Vicky made a delicious pasta sauce. Yeah. And it was so nice to sit at the table and have a conversation with him. Like, yeah, and yeah. for dessert we had the... Uh, Key lime pie. Yeah. Mm, lovely. That's mm -hmm. typical Southern, right? Oh, Florida. Maybe, yeah, Florida. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, so that was very nice. Yeah. So but now it's we, uh, very good in the summertime and it's really hot here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. So this is um, the southern part of um, Chesapeake Bay. So now we're heading north up to Salomon. Salomon. Yeah. So it's a sail on, uh, in about 40 nautical miles and yeah. the breeze is quite nice today. So we're hoping for a good sail. Yeah. And uh, we had two really nice and calm nights at the slip. and. Uh, it's nice to stay on a slip. <laughs> yeah, we've been on Anchor Bridge for so long, all, almost all the time, so yeah. having a slip is nice. watching and follow us next week when we are sailing further into Chesapeake Bay. Please leave a comment below if you want to see or know something special and don't forget to like and subscribe.